top here at the top right we have our player who just got dominated by that Banshee Marine Rush. Yeah. STAs. STAs. Down here at the bottom left, we have our old school player, formerly known as CHRE. He is. I am Kumar. I am Kumar. I like Kumar. I like Kumar. Here we see the probe checking the inside of his base for any proxies. Depot being made behind the minerals. A lot of Terrans not really liking to wall in with that depot anymore. Yeah. Some of these uh, builds that are getting more popular nowadays, such as Void Ray Warp Gate, can really abuse a depot that's on the edge of your wall in. And it lets the Void Ray charge up as well. So I kind of understand why they don't really wall in with depots anymore against Protoss. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we do see some players actually get a Zealot person and try to be aggressive. But, you know, it's hard. It's a, risk. It's, it's it's a risk. very long map, too. So, yeah. to do that, I don't know. Marines micro a lot better in this game than StarCraft 1 against them. All units do, really. Yeah, that's that's quite true. It's actually like the Reaper was so responsive when the game first came out. I was like, whoa, it's actually hard for me, <laughs> hard for me to even get used to that because I was used mm. to the kind of delay in the old game StarCraft 1. But, no, the unit movement much cleaner here in this game. Now, chasing that probe around. Going to want to kill it before he shows his true tech route. We see the gateway on the way. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. We're just waiting to see the tech pattern. Then we can start to analyze. That's right. Let's get ready for it with the production tab. Let's Tasteless. do it. Production, I love that tab. production tab. Oh, I love the features they have Makes for so observing this game. Anything. Yeah. Such a good game. The game timer messes me up a little bit, though. I keep looking at it and trying to... It's slightly faster than the actual... It's not real time. Yeah. That's why APM and stuff is all messed up. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think you might try to hide something. Yep. People have been loving that lately. Especially Second gas this corner, gotten, specifically. So. Yeah. That's like a far away place to actually scout. You only have... So, you know, you want to keep your RCV around, scouting things that are relevant. Checking, like, right. little weird corners of the map. Like, what's the odds he's going to proxy there as opposed to the bottom right, you know? Right, right. It's not something you can scout so easily. He does have two gas, so uh, I could definitely see Void Rays being proxied over there. I could see it, and I could love it. DTs could be a possibility yeah. as well. We've been seeing a lot of DTs in this matchup lately, and I think DTs are going to get used more and more and more, and then there's going to be a drop-off, and then they're going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the lifespan of DTs. It's like right bell-bottom jeans. <laughs> yeah, man. Like... They're going to get really good until people get really good against them. <laughs> die off a little bit, and then everyone's like, oh, wait, no, they really were good. Oh. We just can't rely oh. on them. Oh, uh -oh. SCV. It's going to be a DT rush. But will this SCV spot it? He doesn't know about it. That's right. Can't see up the bells. He may end up finding it. This is, this yeah. is pretty interesting. This is the Sherlock Holmes SCV. Very quick DTs here. Now with the fast command center, he's going to have two possible scans here, but he needs mm -hmm. to get an engineering bay. He yeah. doesn't have one yet. Now, he, he should have an engineering bay kind of built in to his build order, as a lot of Terran players like Ensnare, like TLO, actually have. you got to do that. Otherwise, it's just a little bit risky. You don't want to have to rely on scans because they can just warp in more DPs, send them in single file, and suddenly you have no economy, and soon enough, no scans left. Dark Shrine on the way. Do we have an eBay? Probe! Managing to get in here and see everything wow. that's going on. He's been doing some great probe sneaking. And he sees no eBay. He's got to be feeling good about this. STAs could sneak the probe into Mordor. He could. Yeah, man. You just give the one ring to a probe. It's like, meow, and it goes right into the lava with it. He could actually sneak a probe into Fort Knox. That's right. No eBay. I'm getting nervous, Artosis. You could sneak a probe into the firewall of the Pentagon. <laughs> and he's going to continue to get a warp prism. Ooh, this is ooh. so good. This is awesome. Dropship so slash flying pylon. He's going to be able to warp him right into the guy's main base. Yeah, no kidding. And if he wants, he can like drop stuff off there as well. But it seems kind of uh, 
extra fluorus to drop stuff and to uh it's probably not how you say that word is it no I've read it in books but you're uh, adorable i never said that out loud i want to match tasteless vocabulary it's okay i'm getting red ears right now <laughs> <laughs> okay we got the warp prism out now dark shrine is done dts are out oh this is such a good build oh my god it's and a DT on top drop, of that, man yeah, it is. It's a new age DT drop. The only problem with DT drops in StarCraft 2 is Terran always has scanners. Is he going to spend this mule? Is he going to spend it? He needs to have a scan. He has 50 energy. That's one good thing. Well, I'm not saying I'm humorous about it. He's actually awesome. But for bad players that like just don't spend their mules, it's, uh, they can stop DT drops a lot better. So they're better against better players. He has not spent it. Engineering Bay almost done. Yeah. One DT here. He's gonna go right for the SCVs. He made it, wasting a scan. Scans. Meanwhile, the other two DTs are in the main. Spreading them up. Very nice moves right now. Enough, enough energy though for another scan. He's gonna want to be very careful with how he uses this scan. Meanwhile, he keeps warping in more DTs. He That's does right. kill up that Dark Temple over there. Going for the eBay now. This is actually, this is peeling this is apart. A I'm Kumer. This is great that he is actually using this shuttle, using this warp prism to warp in more DTs. He's not gonna have enough scans. His main base, he has just not got turrets ready up there. Does scan again to get rid of that Dark Templar. Another DT's out though. He's gonna have to wonder what is going on. He doesn't even know about the shuttle maybe. The, uh, rather the warp prism. Gonna take out the reactor. And take out this SCV. He the needs turret. that so badly, that turret. <laughs> oh my god. He's just continuing to get Dark Temples out. Meanwhile, this Nexus completes. This is not looking good. I, I, I want to emphasize, guys, what he's doing is he's spreading out the Dark Templar so only one scan can kill one Dark Templar. See? Kills him. But this Dark Templar is still here. Turret on the way, though. You know, I think he's back at his home base doing some other stuff. Because once that gets up, he's going to be able to pull back his main base. Uh -oh. Will he target that SCV in time? Or will he kill, like, every single unit? Oh, is he just going to give up? Become friends? He just quits? Hey, guys, can I be a Terran? I'm tired of killing people. <laughs> and look wow. at that. Gets the warp prism out of there. Realizes it is time to stop that. Beautiful play by STA. Very look at impressive. That. He's even got his robo up. Now, let's take a look at the supply. We have 66 for Protoss, and we have 51 for Terran, so Protoss definitely far ahead at this point. As far as units go, down to a very measly 27 SCVs against 49 probes. Wow. Wow. Let's take the income tab. I love going through these tabs. And he's got over 50% more economy than Protoss does at this moment. Oh, yeah. So, I'm Kumer has his work cut out for him. Now he's going to go for Zealots with legs. It's a logical transition into the next yeah. phase. Now, I and know I oftentimes... Oh, yeah. Uh, please. No, no, no. You go ahead. I was going to say, no, I know a, I oftentimes <laughs> harp on people for uh, not using their advantage right. But when you get this much of an advantage, instead of expanding, what you do is you make enough units so that you cannot die no matter what. Because right now, I'm Cuber's going to be like, uh-oh, I, I actually have to, to all in yeah. at this point to win. And you can see he's already edging out right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh this is cool. Drop. He can kill the turret and then warp in DTs. Wow, you can fit that many stalkers in the shuttle. That's actually quite amazing. Stalker, apparently a very skinny unit. Oh, my God. You're quite right, Taste. He can warp in DTs at this point. Is he going to do it? And it looks like he's going to attack the Protoss main base at the natural. No, that's a factory. <laughs> He does uh, have the option now to warp MPTs. I'm surprised he didn't do that yet. That is a very slow moving blob of Marines and Marauders. It's very square. Hmm. I don't know if um, I'm Humor, formerly known as CHRH, formerly known as the best random player in StarCraft 1 of all time in Korea. This is getting bad, Artosis. I'm Humor is very crippled right now. Yeah. He is in so much trouble, and realistically, Ace is playing perfectly from here. Yeah. Make a ridiculous amount of units. More than a ridiculous amount, make a redonkulous amount, and then take your third base. <laughs> Redonkudonkulous. Yep. He's got a Raven out, he may try to just go for a kill. 
Just try to take him out, which but actually... Course, those ooh. have charge as well. Uh oh, here we go. No stim. Yeah, okay, I'm so... Oh, there it is. There it is. Well, still, running back to his bunkers. Wait, he doesn't have bunkers anymore. He sold him. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be it. STAs. STAs. Looks like he's going to be your winner here. Guardian Shield. That's right. Time Keeper can't be happy with this at all. Underperforming. But this actually is something that could have taken place around a 16 easily, I think. Oh, yeah. Both great players. We had a great series here. It looks like Ace is going to take it down with his very creative the Dark Templar draw. GG. Wow. I'm Humor. What an upset. I mean, I know that Ace is amazing, but I really expected I'm Humor to yeah, win. Yeah, I know. Game. I thought he'd be able to take it, but Star Tail, a great team. They know what they're doing with their recruits. I'm Humor. He is saying, oh, no. At least he got further than last season. I believe yeah. he was actually eliminated by Spunky, if if I recall correctly, yeah. in the GSL 1 qualifiers. That's correct. It's back when Spunky was still in good shape, still playing the game. Um, but, you know, that's that's it, man. He's out in the round of 64. Maybe next season, round of 32? Maybe. We're going to find out soon. Very good At player, GSL though. Soon. Uh, you know, yeah, GSL Season 3 is going to come up, so you could see him again. Um, very exciting uh, games we had there. We have uh, two more best of threes. Yes. Right. Two more exciting, we'll amazing. Seven best of threes awesome. cast it, uh, so far today. And Is that uh, all? That's all. Doesn't feel I like mean, it, but it. Already seven? That's, that's right. what I meant to say. <laughs> um. Well, I learned a lot from that. We hope you guys asked some great questions because you have an interview coming up here in just a minute. That's right. I get to interview STA, so learn a little yes. bit more about this guy. Uh, it's someone I don't really know much about. I actually. Um, I know I'm Kimmer pretty well. I've actually gone drinking with him a few times. Yeah. No. Really, really nice guy. Very friendly guy. Very, very Love nice guy. Him. Tries um, so hard on his English. I know his English is not bad at all, yeah. actually. Some of these guys speak English well. Um, well, I think the analysis is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. I mean, that build last game was genius. That was such a good build. I like, want to switch back to Protoss now. Yeah, I know. That was, it was good that play, was man. That was cool. Drops off a couple DTs, splits yeah. them up. Starts warping him in, single file to wherever they're going to go. Yeah. And just couldn't get the turret up in the main in time. Yeah. That's it. Lost too many SCVs, too many units, too many buildings. What you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. Sometimes you just get this perfect play. Can beat somebody of status as good as him. We're going to close it out here now. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We have an interview coming up in just a minute yeah. with our Artosis and ST Ace. Very soon. That's right. Thanks again, guys. By the way, guys, for tuning in. We really enjoy your company. Yeah. You have about two minutes. Go get some chamomile tea. No.